Hi there, sign of Gemini. This is Kim here to do your reading. And this reading is going to be for when it resonates with you and when you feel drawn to it. If your energy is here, it is here for a reason. So I thank you for donating your energy. That helps with the messages. So we are using the Modern Witch Tarot deck for your reading. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords in the reverse. That's nice. You know what? Ace of Wands. Nice. Okay, well, we'll deal with it. <laughs> Anything that we have, we'll deal with. Um, two for the outcome here. So this is actually the way that you kind of see you've got nine of swords reverse and the eight of swords reverse and the ten of swords reverse. That's what you want. You really don't want them too much in the right side up because. Okay, well, let me just so you've got eight, nine and ten of swords all in the reverse. You've taken control over something, some aspect of your mind that may have felt out of control or out of your control but it is in your control here um you also have eight eight just glancing at this reading and you also have four five six wow so you have a lot of numbers that instead of repeating they're going they're ascending i think that's part of your message too the Four of Cups is like, look, there might be a opportunity coming in as the challenge. The challenge would be to not miss it because you see this person that the arms folded. It's, it's kind of a sign, you know, they're to themselves or uh, it may be deep in thinking and so therefore not paying attention around. So it's kind of like this balance of being mindful inside and being mindful of your surroundings at the same time. It's, it's, um, it's a hard balance when you have a lot of things to think about, but it looks like you're handling this balance and freeing your mind, your thoughts, it's like the inner conflict is gone here with the Five of Swords reverse. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands. I think this is, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned for a second because I think that this is the, at the heart of the matter, trying to find out what you're truly passionate about is the only issue. You feel the energy of the passion. You feel the energy of the magic that you hold. However, the only challenge would be yourself. The only challenge would be yourself and standing up for what you want and going after it. I think those things right there. I think that's what it is. And it is about finding your truth in a time where stoicism might have got you through a, a tough time, right? In a time where we had to focus only on uh, one priority at a time because it was how we achieved something. But I think there is a new paradigm. There's this ability to handle multiple things here and find your truth and stand up for it. Not feeling like you're on the defensive necessarily, although this card can be thought of as that. Feeling like you're having to defend yourself. Um, the Queen of Swords reverse. Don't get too detached from your heart space basically don't get too detached from your heart space and the king of wands there is 
um, either somebody who is speaking or who has hit you with Cupid's arrow, let's say. Somebody inspiring, like this King of Wands energy. Moving fast forward towards a goal, towards an inspiration. King of Wands. Inspirational. We could be talking about fire signs or a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sag. Um, Cancer, we have Cancer's energy. So the solution comes to you regarding what to do about reinventing yourself with your own skills or with the home business. They're not, you know, things not, aren't always the easiest, but once you really put yourself into it, um, you can achieve just about anything you really want. Okay, the Ten of Swords energy. Ten of Swords. The reverse. Okay, so we're waiting. We're waiting. There is a victory to be had that has to do with self-reliance and independence, financial gain, a win, a winning of some sort. Six of Wands in the reverse. It's how you are feeling. You may be feeling victorious, but you may be feeling like, I don't want to really tell anybody. That might just be you being humble and setting the ego aside. And that is um, ultimately a good thing. Because it's like you're not taking as much credit for what you've done here as you probably could be. I don't know who this Queen of Pentacles energy is in the reverse. I know I'm just flipping around here, but... That's about the rebirth of some kind of career-related thing or a big achievement. It could be, um, you could be an artist too. You could be commissioned to do something over a long period of time. You know what I mean? So however your work comes to you, however contracts come to you, it's going to be individual for you. And when you're optimistic and you're looking and you're aware of yourself and your surroundings, you're not likely to miss this beautiful opportunity. So the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, it could be about um, everybody tightening down on the resources so that everyone else is still able to be some, you know, comfortable. Uh, that would be the goal, I think. And that might be what this Queen of Pentacles energy is too in the reverse. It might just be about time to take off, you know, a home business or something like that. Um, it took like what a whole year it took about a year to get this um channel to actually be able to make some money and even then when it did it wasn't much each month you know maybe like a hundred and something the first month for, for the month so oh wow okay <laughs> you have your big opportunity is within the passions that you hold Okay, it's coming like this to me. King of Swords energy, Ace of Wands energy, King of Wands energy, King of Swords. To the, these two kings at the heart of the matter, doing something by the book. Doing something by the book. King of Swords. This is the I also I'm looking at this as like picking up something. It it possibly with it looking like this to me, it looks like either this is a past passion or this is a current passion, right? The King of Swords here is connecting all of this. So there are ways to do things maybe with the business or your business 
that when we're they're done in a certain order or sequence, things just start to flow easier for you. I don't know. You can always ask I'm um, an expert here with this King of Swords uh, regarding whatever it is about getting your passion or how you can always sometimes you can know what your passion is, but you don't know exactly how to apply that in your life or what you could make out of that. There are people that you can tell them, you know, you can consult with people, let them know what you're good at. They might be able to help you figure out what you could make with that. Working together, maybe collaborating with somebody who's really good at whatever this is. This is also victory and success for your efforts, but you're just, it's, it's like we're just not wanting to tell anybody here, Gemini. And that's kind of humble of you. The Five of Swords in the reverse, which is a, a characteristic. Um, it's a plus. <laughs> it's definitely a plus. Five of Swords, Energy, Queen of Pentacle, Energy, Ten of Wands, Energy, is because we've carried so much weight on our shoulders, possibly regarding conflicts or arguing or fighting. The King of Pentacles with the Judgment in Reverse it's kind of is your outcome. So lightening your load by not engaging in whatever this arguing is about or fighting or conflict. So it's coming out of that period. You may be done like dealing with stuff like that. That might be what it is. Done arguing over who's doing more. That's kind of the message I'm getting. Judgment reverse. I always look at that as like... Um, the ability to let go of our judgments that we hold harshly on ourselves and then we hold that to other people also so it it kind of, it feels like it justifies our right to judge whenever we say well i judge myself harshly on that you know what i mean but that's not really a justification so letting go of um your judgments to yourself forgiving yourself for things and then offering that to others, possibly around you. Careful what you're wishing for also, because with the King of Pentacles, you could have a lot of Pentacle energy coming in. But it's something that they're saying, like, if, if it starts, if it gets to be really good, this is, could be the home business that kind of takes care of the whole family. If it does, um stay committed to it is the message and then i have the nine of wands and then nine of cups in the reverse nine nine um so there's something from the past that we're holding judgment against maybe the things that we chose that were not good for us like careful what you wish for with the nine of cups in reverse you probably did have everything and then chose certain things so they're saying not to give up though we're constantly evolving we're constantly changing the things that we do want and just dis or dis want too so the king of pentacles judgment in reverse and then nine nine that's your message all right <laughs> that's what i've got for you i'm gonna pull one of these there these cards are they're different. They're, they're the Archangel uh, Raphael cards. Acceptance. Please help me accept that everything is going in the right direction. Yes, because sometimes that is hard. And then I have yes. When it comes to building your passion here, it says, please help me trust my feelings as an accurate barometer of truth. And yes. Inner authority. Thank you for supporting me as I take back my power. Listen to my intuition, desires, and feelings. And then I have something you are definitely working on and it's coming for you is improving health. It says, thanks for this comforting reassurance that this situation is going to be A-OK. -okay. When your stomach is kind of like it's fine, everything feels fine, um, that's when you know you're going to start improving your health. Sometimes um, that's sometimes that's what it's like. So sending you love and light. You are always appreciated. Signs of Gemini. Bye.